Today is April 24th. Happy Mary Euphrasia Feast Day. What is a feast day, you ask? Stay tuned to find out and how you can have the chance to be sent a fabulous prize from the Office of Mission Effectiveness. Hey guys, and happy Mary Euphrasia Feast Day. Perhaps you've celebrated her feast day before, or maybe you have no clue even what a feast day is. That's totally fine either way. A feast day is the one date out of the year that the Catholic Church assigns to honor a canonized saint. The saints are remembered on their feast days and honored with a special mention, prayers, sometimes a special meal, or any number of ways to honor their incredible lives. A lot of times a saint's feast day will be the day that they died. That's the case with St. Mary Euphrasia, who died April 24th, 1864. Now look, a lot of us are not Catholic, and that's okay. You don't have to be Catholic to celebrate Mary Euphrasia's feast day. Good shepherds come in all sorts of spiritualities. It's our common mission, values, and history that bring us together. St. Mary Euphrasia was canonized on May 2nd, 1940. Canonized means the day that she was officially recognized as a saint. A lot of research goes into this process, and we'll talk more about that in a couple weeks. What I see as one of the main points of recognizing someone as a saint is to say to the world that this is a person worth recognizing. Someone that made a visible, positive contribution to her neighbors and to the world. If you've been around Good Shepherd, you know that we like to use quotes from Mary Euphrasia a lot. In fact, our office sends them out by email every day. A lot of those quotes come from a book called Conferences. So in celebration of Mary Euphrasia today, I wanted to read you this short section from Conferences. She said, in our institute, we can only do some good in proportion to our desire to give ourselves to the salvation of our neighbor. This must, uh, must also be said. If we have succeeded to some extent in accomplishing our aims, it is only by virtue of the love full of zeal we have shown in our dear protégés. People understand that the Institute was founded only for the love of souls. Certainly, I had no money no talents, nor any outward appeal. I just loved our girls always, and I loved them with all the strength of my soul. I even made a vow never to refuse anyone because they couldn't pay. And you see, my dear daughters, in spite of that, we are none the poorer. So, how are you celebrating Mary Euphrasia today? You may be doing something at your agency or something privately in your home. Get creative. If it's not raining, do a chalk design on your sidewalk with your favorite quote. Make a cake. Pick one of Mary Euphrasia's characteristics and see if you can act on it today. Read something about her life. Whatever you're doing, I want to hear about it. I'm going to honor St. Mary Euphrasia's feast day with a giveaway. That's right, a fabulous prize could be sent right to your house. In the channel description is an email address. So send me an email at gs.mission.pmna at gmail.com. And tell me either how you're celebrating or some thought about something that you read about her. You can send a video message or an email. Again, that's gs.mission.pmna at gmail.com. Next week, I'll do a drawing, and one out of 10 people to submit emails will win a fabulous prize. Last year, the winner got a daily quote calendar of Mary Euphrasia's quotes. This year, it could be the same thing, or it might be something different. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. So get your emails into me, and let's celebrate. If you're new to this channel, welcome, and thank you for stopping by. You can check out some of the previous videos that I've done over the past month or so. You can also like and subscribe, as well as sign up for notifications if you want to be pinged when a new video comes out. Thanks, Shepherds. We'll see you again soon. And as Mary Euphrasia said, courage, 
Go forth, save souls. Bye, have a good day.